Hi, this is a quick tutorial or demonstration of how you can touch up uh, a face to make it look a little bit prettier and uh, give it the beauty treatment. And it'll also illustrate some of the tools that Photoshop Elements has available to it to uh, manipulate the photos. Uh, the starting place for this is to get the face in its own layer and then duplicate that layer. And in fact, I'm going to duplicate it a few times because I think I'm going to also want to have one reference picture. So here's the reference I'll put up at the top. And this is going to be um, the, the faces that I work on. I'm going to hide that top layer and just work on the, the bottom too a little bit. This one is going to be, I'll call this face clean. And this one is going to be called face blur, just to keep track of these things. And I'll turn everything off except for face blur, and I'll apply the first trick to it. And face blur, I'm going to use a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'll use a blur of about three pixels or so. And what that'll do is it'll smooth out individual little blemishes and things, and it'll get a general smooth skin tone all the way through this thing. Now I'll turn back on the face, face clean, and the way to smooth out that skin, this is one of many approaches, but for Photoshop elements it seems to work pretty well. I'll use the eraser tool, and choose a nice gentle brush. I'm using a 27 pixel size. It depends on how, the, how much detail there is in your photo, how big it is. But I'm going to use a 27 pixel soft edge, and I've set the opacity to about 50% or so. And now, as I apply to the clean face, the eraser, it will allow you to see through to the blur just a little bit to start smoothing out individual blemishes. If you erase it completely, you'll see nothing but the blur underneath. It might get a little unrealistic if you go too, too crazy on this, but it's a nice way of starting to smooth out mottled skin age spots and stuff like that. You naturally don't want to race over things that are too detailed because it'll hide those details. So stay in just the skin, general skin tone area. It'll something like that. Okay. Now, before and after. And you can sort of see the difference that it's doing there. Next little trick I'm going to try to apply to this uh, well, actually, before I do anything, I'm going to try merging these two images together. The clean face and the blur face together are making up the new image I want to keep. To merge these layers together, a right mouse click and a merge down will do exactly what I want. So I have my face blur, or maybe I'll call this face touch-up, or fixed, as opposed to my reference. So now I want to go through these three tools. Desaturate. Uh, sponge tool is going to remove color and there's a good application for that when you get into normal eyeballs. Normal eye has a little bit of red around it and you can make that go away a little bit making sure you're on the right layer just by using this desaturate or sponge tool and don't go too crazy because if it gets too gray it looks very very artificial but for just instead of applying a white you don't want to apply white to it what you want to do is just remove the color suddenly things start looking a little bit fresher. And don't take any away naturally from the natural light color that's there. Next tool I'm going to try applying, I'll use the dodge tool. And the dodge tool will brighten up uh, some tones. So I'm going to brighten up the eyes a little bit. Again, a little goes a long way. I've got an exposure of 50% on that. Um, the desaturate, the sponge tool, I think I had at 100. Right now this um, dodge tool is picking on the mid-tones. There's all sorts of applications, but that's just one that you can try. And the last tool I'm going to try playing around with is the Burn tool. And the Burn tool will actually darken tones, so it can shade things, or give you sunburn if you want. But the shading will work really nicely if you get the right size brush. If you want to increase the effect of some lighting and the like, make things look a little bit more 3D, you can apply a little bit of that to it, just to make things look a little more sculpted. Okay, it's definitely touching things up. But here's the end effect for all three of those techniques. There's our finished touched up face. There's the original. And it's funny how you can get a hit addicted to this. It's a nice look that it can give you. But you got to know when to stop. And you got to know which tools to use. So hopefully that's helped everybody out, out there. Good luck.